In some programs like 3ds Max, you can show the subdivided geometry while working on a cage mesh. In model you can't, but actually now with procedurals you can. So let me explain what is going on in this scene. I have two mesh items, one mesh and one procedural mesh. So I will hide the procedural mesh and turn off independent drawing. You can find that when you press the O key, go to Active Meshes, enable independent drawing. I have a video about it. I suggest you check it out. So this is a simple Catmull Clark model. And it's very low geometry. When you go to item mode and select it and say draw style wireframe, and I've already done so. Then when you check independent drawing, then you get wireframe view. When you go to your display options, you see that I have set wireframe to user and I've given it dark green color. And my second mesh is a procedural one. And you see that it does a merge meshes, so it merges the mesh item named mesh, and it does two subdivides. The second has been disabled, I'm going to enable it. And this is my mesh item subdivided twice. Now, when I'm working on my mesh item, I can actually see the subdivided wireframes like this. So when I, for instance, move these faces, you see that my subdivided procedural one updates. But with two subdivisions, it's actually a bit sluggish. So I've actually added that second subdivision to a group. And with this micro, I can disable it. If you want to know how to do that, I've also made a video about disabling mesh operations easily via groups. I have a video about that, so if you want to know that, you can check that out too. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo and first turn it off. And now you see, you can actually model on a low poly cage and see the result when it is subdivided. And to further enhance your workflow speed, I have, when I go to the command history, if you press Alt, and left mouse button, click on the mesh, you see that you can hide and unhide the rest of it. That is something that you probably already know. But for those two meshes, I've added that to a key. So I can easily turn it off and turn it on for one or the other. So now I'm only watching the subdivided one. If I enable my second subdivide, disable that second subdivide, go back to the view of my base mesh, turn off independent drawing, turn on independent drawing, so, with this method, you can actually see your subdivided wireframe while working on a low-resolution cage mesh. Another advantage is that you can easily work with three-sided polygons and n-sided polygons, since you will immediately see the result when it is subdivided. So, for instance, if I make that face two triangles, and you immediately see the result when it is subdivided and now subdivided twice. I can also work with n-gons. For instance, I'm going to delete with backspace key that one. And you see, of course, it turns into quads, but in this case you get a star, which is usually not desired. But anyway, 
you immediately immediately see your results subdivided when working with three-sided faces and n-sided faces. Hope you found it useful.